Comparison is a sneaky enemy. It can be something as simple as going down your social media timeline. You see that your friend has a new job and you're unemployed and looking for work. It's kind of hard to celebrate her when you're actually comparing yourself to her. You know, I remember a time whenever we first moved in our first home. We had a window that was in our kitchen and I absolutely loved to look out this window. I mean, it had full view of what the landscape of our yard was. We had a huge backyard. The grass was always green. My children were always enjoying their time outside playing. I love to look out that window. It was the best part of our home until my friend invited me over to her home. See, she had a new home and not only in that new home that she had, she had a bay window in her kitchen. This kitchen was awesome, first of all. And her bay window, well, needless to say, it had a full view of like the greatest look at life, at least I thought. And I compared what my little window saw in comparison to her big bay window. Galatians 6 and 4 says, Let everyone be sure that he is doing his very best, for then he will have the personal satisfaction of work well done and won't need to compare himself with someone else. There you have it. It says it right there in Galatians, that there is absolutely no reason for you to compare yourself to anyone else. You know, I often say that the devil doesn't have new tricks. He has new distractions. And one of those new distractions is social media. You can get so caught up in scrolling down your timeline and looking at what someone else is celebrating that you instantly start comparing yourself. You often miss what God is doing in your life because you're viewing someone else's life. Watching all of this unfold daily, not just in my life, but in my friend's life, I thought how we're oftentimes blinded by comparison. And I began to take different looks at different people in the Bible. And one of those um, looks that I began to take was a story about Rachel and Leah. We're all kind of familiar with it. Actually, the Bible made a comparison. Made a comparison about the way Leah looked in comparison to Rachel. It said that Leah's eye was a little kind. And so I decided that I'm gonna do a blog series, a two-part series where we talk about how we're oftentimes blinded by comparison. This series will begin on June 2nd and I'll write about and we'll even have the opportunity to, to actually discuss it about the ways that we compare ourselves to someone else. So join me on the blog June 2nd as we discuss how we're blinded by comparison. I'll see you on the blog.